Back at you folks, Rudd's here. We're gonna do a soap review this evening. WSP Formula T Mahogany. Uh, many of you know WSP, which is short for uh, Wet Shaving Products. Check out their website below. Um, they have two soap lines, the Formula T, which is their tallow-based uh, formula with shea butter. And they also have their Rustic, which is a uh, vegan-based formula in the vein of uh, LPL in terms of uh, consistency, loading, and uh, performance. 15 seconds was uh, plenty to get the brush loaded up here. Uh, right off the bat, if you're familiar with uh, the former Bath & Body Works offering Mahogany Woods, this, uh, and, and if you like it, this scent's going to be right up your alley. Um, it's woody, spicy, and a bit sweet. Um, notes, individual notes are mahogany, bergamot, vanilla, cedar, and uh, allspice and patchouli. The scent strength is strong out of the tin and remain strong as you uh, build your and complete your lathering and uh, for similarly scented soaps I would recommend that you check out um, Reef Point Dragon's Blood or if you can find it the former Shaver Heaven Spiced Mahogany all right, let's uh, talk about the performance here. So the uh, WSP made their name with their vegan soap, which is where, you know, that was their first soap base. But the owner always liked tallow soap. So once he became happy with his rustic formula, he uh, set out to create himself a tallow soap. I'll put the ingredients list down below so you can see. It's a uh, very nice tallow base. Um, no preservatives, dye free. And... Uh, from a performance standpoint, it hits all of the marks you'd expect from a artisan tallow soap. The uh, cushion and density of the lather is good as you could see from my uh, face before I started scraping the lather off. The uh, slickness is good and um, The post shave is also good. Um, I liken this soap base a lot to um, Chiseled Face or um, also the recently reviewed Skullbusters shave soap. So if you're familiar with those soap bases, I think you get a feel for what this soap performs and uh, feels like on your face. All right, here we go, folks. I'm gonna uh, finish the shave off. Went with some lavanil tonight. Um, real quick, if you don't, if you decide to grab this, but you don't grab the matching aftershave from WSP, I'd recommend obviously this lavanil. Uh, because of the vanilla, um, Katie's Bubbles LPV would be a good choice because of the uh, spicy notes. Um, Mickey Lee Soapworks, Urate, or even something like uh, Barrister and Man uh, Reserve Spice with the uh, spiciness to it would go well as well, I think. So, WSP Formula T, uh, good soap, 
I did forget to mention that you can also grab these off uh, Amazon and they are prime shipped. I think they're uh, $14.99 ish for uh, 4.7 ounces so not bad and uh, definitely easy to add to any order. Um, overall good soap. My, my knock this tin it's got dented in transit. Where is it? Dented in transit even by Amazon. I don't really care about that but the uh, the surface is really small. It's one of those 3.5 inch tins, I think. So you make a mess. Um, I'd like to see these upgraded to plastic, but overall, good value, good soap. Check it out if you're interested. That's going to wrap it up for me. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Comment below if you have anything to uh, say or talk about with me. And as always, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. See ya.